So welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time, we finally made it to Zora's River and bought some beans from uh, this weirdo. And I meant to do this last episode, but we simply didn't have enough time. We're going to have to go and plant those beans. And the first location I want to go to is back in the graveyard. So I'll meet you guys over there. Back in the graveyard, what I want to do... Magic bean. We want to go and plant these beans in the soil spots that we uh, got those gold sculptures out of. So, here's our first bean. Uh, bean. Yes. Now, what we want to go to is... Uh, well, we want to start heading up the mountain trail. So, I'll just skip over to the entrance to that. Back on the trail again. This time, not for any gold sculptures and... Yeah, just ignore these tektites. I really don't want to mess with them right now. We'll go plant this bean over by the soil spot in front of Dodongo's cavern. Uh, which is right in front of this Goron, too. Bing. There we go. And now we gotta go all the way back to the Lost Woods. Uh, if you remember the shortcut from Goron City, which is personally what I'm gonna take, that is, uh a lot easier way to get back to uh, the Lost Woods, so I guess I'll just uh, look at this sign, yes. I guess I'll just make my way over there and meet you guys in the Lost Woods, so be right back. In the Lost Woods again, we want to go right left right left And another left. We got this gold sculpture way back when. This is the super grassy area from before. Uh, we want to go to... Where is it? It's in front of you. Plant the bean right behind the Deku scrub. Bean. And now, a very annoying uh, side thing. We have to go back to Lake Hylia. I'm not kidding. Over in Lake Hylia, we're actually getting the title sequence for this place. We've been here like three times, and now we're just now getting the introductory sequence to Lake Hylia. Last bean spot we gotta go and plant is in front of this house where we got another gold sculpture from. And thankfully this is the last of the beans, at least for a while, so hey. Bing. And now, we gotta go all the way back to Zora's River. <laughs> Very inconvenient, I know, but if we don't do this now, it's going to be way more inconvenient in the future, so... By all means, go and do that. So, meet you guys over in Zora's River real quick. Yeesh. Finally back to Zora's River, we're going to be actually taking on the... Why is the bird back? Why are you back? You talk to me, I'm going to eat you for dinner. I... Okay, well, you deserved yourself a death sentence there, buddy. It's the same thing. Shut up. Get away from me. Stranger danger. Okay, I got it, bird. I can't skip this. Uh, guess the game really wants to make sure you've got the... Uh, whatever. Okay, go off into the distance and I hope you fly into the sun. <laughs> anyway. What we want to do here, we want to grab a Kuko. Yes, I know this is weird, but it is necessary. And we want to bring this Kuko on our very, very way. Mary Joy Ray. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I'm trying to make a sequence, and uh, I can't do it right. See that heart piece up there? We need the Kuko for that. So, uh, yeah, that's why we have a Kuko. I think there is a way to, like, jump at the right time to get it, but... I'm just not going to do that, and there we go, perfect. Let's grab this heart piece for our troubles. Piece of hot, and now I want to go get that chicken again, because we do need him for another thing. Um, there we go. And there are some things we can do here, but we can't finish them, unfortunately, so I'll just leave it be for now. All right, let me grab you. And then, we are tall enough, for once, to actually stand in the water here. Grab the chicken again. I think... 
It's not up there. There's a, there is another heart piece we can get. I'm just trying to remember where it is. Uh. Okay, I guess, yeah. It, it's later on. Oh, right, okay, I know where it is now. Watch out for these Octoroks, because uh, if you do get hit by one, then you drop the chicken. Over in Zora's, uh, well, the entrance to Zora's domain, we have a heart piece right there, which I think it might be better if I go over here first. And that here, or this right here, that is a shortcut, um, I believe to, yeah, it, it leads to Lake Hylia, so I think, I can't exactly remember, or, actually no, that leads to the Lost Woods again, never mind. Another heart container has been completed, and we no longer need the stupid chicken, but we, we do need, uh, we need to, I'm trying to make sure, yeah, I'm gonna hop down here, and we wanna change it to nighttime. I'm surprised I remember this song. <laughs> Yeesh. Because at night, a gold sculpture spawns. Just kill you and give me your reward. Should be up to 28 now, which we're almost up to the 30 reward, I think. But yeah, this shortcut, I believe, leads back to the Lost Woods. So, yeah, two shortcuts from the Lost Woods. And right here is uh, something we need to play. I mean, usual case in point is anywhere you see a pedestal and Navi's pointing at it, more than half of the time you gotta play the song of time. Er, well, Zelda's lullaby. So, anyway, let's head in. One of the most beautiful soundtracks in this game. Zora's Domain. Also, very pretty area, too. As, like, Goron City, Zora, uh, Zora's Domain is pretty much like this. Uh, well, Zora's Domain is pretty much a little mini-city. Uh, Deku Nuts. Why do you, why do you people have Deku Nuts? And Deku Sticks. Anyway, speaking of Deku Sticks, we need... Do a couple errands before we do anything more. There is a shop here, but they don't really have anything that you'd want. Well, that's not true. There is something you do want to grab, but... Besides the point, we want to get our Deku Sticks. Uh, we don't need the Ocarina. And up here is a torch. Light our stick, and we want to light the torches all around Zora's Domain. So the first one is right here. Booyah. And it starts initiating that. Second one is right here. And then stay to the side here. If you walk into water, the torch will go out, so uh, don't do that. Like this, and I hope we have enough time to do this. Boom, and boom. Did it not do it? Oh god, I must I must have missed one then. Crap. Well, that sucks. I know there I wasn't fast enough. I think I did get them all, though. Did I not? There's one here. There's... Yeah, how did I not get them all? Okay, whatever. I guess I'll go do it again, because I suck, apparently. Yeah, this one's still lit. Alright, let's just... Can I roll with this? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, that's, that's a lot better. Let's light you. And we can't roll in this because uh, it'll douse the fire, so don't do that. Let's get you. And then hopefully we have enough time. Please. There we go. I guess one of the ones up, the, uh, up top just went out right before I got the two torches down here. Anyway, open up this chest. And get ourselves... Yep, we already started on another heart container. <laughs> and I know this is kind of uh, kind of gonna suck, but uh, we gotta lose the fairy. I know it sucks, but this is required. I didn't even use it, so I guess I'm not too saddened. But we'll get another one soon. Trust me. And you want to get the one of these fish? Uh, yeah, I got okay. I got the fish. That's good. That is necessary. Uh, I'm not even joking. Uh, I'll put this to bombs, I guess. 
yeah. So now what we want to do is even more errands. <laughs> Gonna head up here. And there's a little mini game we can do at the left side of a uh, giant squeak man. Squeeb. Whatever. He's a... Uh, He's an interesting fellow. You! You are very tall. Diving game, want to play. Okay. Pick up up. Okay. This is basically a diving mini game. We have to go and dive for all the rupees. So. And start. 50 seconds to get all these rupees. Not too shabby. Uh, it's just. Literally just stand over them and dive, and you'll be fine. You have plenty of time here, so. I wouldn't be too worried if Link would actually move. There we go. There's another. I believe there's five of these. Uh, come on. There we go. I can't see where I'm going. Yeah. All right. Here's the last two. Very close by. There we go. Easy. Also, I think we made money off of that because five, five rupees is what twenty-five. We pay twenty. So hey, five rupee payout. Not easily as, or not as good as the red rupee thing above the uh, Castle Town Gate thing, but hey. Not too shabby if we can build up money. So, want to head back up to the Zora guy because we did get a, a reward for that. And I know I'm pre pretty, uh, being pretty dry with commentary, but there's really not a lot of talk about this place. I mean, there's some interesting glitches, but nothing too crazy. Take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. Silver scale! So yeah, instead of like three seconds, we now have like five seconds to dive underwater, which, I mean, I guess it's cool. So anyway, in this place, we want to talk to uh, this dude. Uh, my dear Princess Ruto, where has she gone? I'm so worried. Right. This is kind of obscure, too. Uh, oh, we do not want to go out there. This is pretty obscure as well. What we want to do is... Also, I just now realized we didn't have to use that fairy, but eh, I wasn't going to use it anyway. Now that we have the silver scale, you see this little shortcut here? Let's take it. And, oh, we get six seconds, okay. Because out here... There's a bottle. If we dive... Also, that bottle does not show up until you go to Zora's Domain. Uh, did I not get it? Damn it. Get the bottle. Please. Uh, Link, thank you. You got an empty bottle! Put something inside and press C to you. Wait, something's already inside. Yeah. So now I regret not. I, now I regret putting the fish in there, but yeah. We'll get another fairy. We're fine. Besides, we have plenty of hearts. I think we'll be alright. Heading back to Zoro's domain. I don't know how you would know to do that. I think, I guess. I, I guess Navi would tell you, but still. Pretty obscure, needless to say. Granted, not as obscure as the Saria's thing with Jerunia, but. Again, there's probably some hint out there that tells you to do that, but what do I know? I just play the game and I know everything, so... Well, I know everything to do, at least. Here is your, uh, daughter's bottle. It's from Princess Ruto. Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. But... Since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll find you'll go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Please, find my dear Princess Ruto immediately, Zora. Yep. Weep. Weep. I just want to know what game developer thought this was a good idea. Because I want to hug him. Because <laughs> it's so stupid. Weep. 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 This is a solid, like, 30 seconds, at least. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful display, King Zora. And, uh, yeah, now we got a free bottle out of that, which, again, I regret using the fairy, but ugh, whatever. I could say one thing a million times. Um, nice. Let's head back up here. Not like a moron. And... Let's head on through towards Jabu Jabu. Eventually. How long is this corridor? There we go. Welcome to Zora's Fountain. That's a big old fish. Like, that's a huge fish. Before initiating anything with uh, Mr. Jabu Jabu there, I'm gonna head over to the southeastern corner of the map. Because there's a couple things we can do. At least I think there's a couple things we can do. Yeah, there's a couple things we can do. First of all, thankfully it's nighttime already, so I don't have to mess around with the sun song. Roll into this tree. Before we got yet another gold skulltula. Boom. Gold skulltula. And now, what we want, we want to grab our bombs. Uh, actually, let me put the fish to this. And I think this is... Where is it? I think it's here. Uh, no, no, da damn it. Can I pick you back up? Okay, thank God. <laughs> I don't know why I pressed down. I meant to press right, or bleh, left. Put a bomb here. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to know to do that, but hey. And we have another Great Fairy's Fountain, which I need the ocarina for. Uh, not enough inventory space, I swear. I'm surprised I didn't mess that up. <laughs> with my current track record with these uh, input combinations. Oh no. Why is there more than one of you? And one of you is more than enough. Not in that way. More of an annoying way. A very creepy way as well. Yeesh. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. Uh, sure. Can't be any worse than the first time, right? And we get... Furore's Wind. This is warp magic you can use with C. Warp to when you are in danger. You will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you will create a warp point. When you use the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point you created last time or warp to that point. Remember, you can use Fodor's Wind only in dungeons that have a dungeon map hidden inside, okay? When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Furore's Wind is an interesting item. As she said, you can't use it outside of dungeons without a map. And we haven't really seen any dungeons without maps yet, but there are some. Along with that, it is, uh, yeah, it's it's strange, needless to say. But it's essentially a warping mechanism, because, uh, well, warping out of a temple wasn't really a thing at this point. So, yeah, it's... It's there to get out of dungeons, at least, so... I guess that's nice. Along with that, you can put it anywhere inside of a dungeon, so you could pretty sequence break stuff pretty easily, so... Anyway... Before we end things off here, because yes, I am going to end the episode off here, because, uh, well, if we go any further, we're going to start a dungeon. Let's go feed Jabu Jabu. Are you hungry, buddy? I know you just ate a giant humanoid fish girl, but... Would you like a normal fish? Uh, oh god. Man, this game is really obsessed with, uh, giant mouths opening. Maybe the developers are really into vor- Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. Inside Jabu Jabu's belly. And we're not starting this dungeon off just yet because, uh, well, we're gonna hit time if we do that. But, if you need to leave, go after his teeth. Yeah, I don't know why they designed it like that. I guess they just want you to make or make it feel like you're stuck inside them. But, no, you can leave any time. So, 
Next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we'll be taking on Lord Jabu Jabi's, uh, Jabi, Jabu's belly, and uh, hopefully finding Princess Ruto in the process. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.